Hello and welcome. This is a workflow for SAP Cloud Platform. And uh, before starting into workflow, I want to give you a overview of why workflow will be required in a business context or by your customer or by your partner. And uh, the workflow which we are going to talk about is primarily from SAP Cloud Platform. Previously in your ECC system, we do have workflow we are not going to work on that because the new way of development with workflow is based out of sap cloud platform and most of the development will be done with your web id now when it comes to workflow why workflow are used and there's a normal question which comes or very common question which might be around that if i want to create an application that application can basically, it can be mobile or a desktop application. Say in SAP world, we are using UI5 to create this application. Why cannot I use this application to map my business process? When I talk about workflow, it is mostly about business process. So if you go in a big organization, they need to run with processes because process provides a fixed outcome for a fixed circumstances for example if you go to bank then you want to open an account then there is a process for that if you go in the bank to withdraw some amount then there is a process for that even in the atm there is a steps which you need to follow and they normally are same across all atm machines so that's how you can see process because it gives you a simple outcome which is fixed and that's how business are actually run they require some kind of stability in their working so a lot of business runs with process or in a big company almost all the work you do revolves around process most of the time in higher management you will not find that but all the process internally to a company works or need to be carried out with process now the question comes is I can map this process into my UI5 app or whatever language you know you can do that you can have an application to withdraw money from ATM that happens that actually how it is carried out I can create a UI5 application for a customer if the customer want to open a bank account in a bank or want to withdraw some amount he has to or she has to go to the bank get this app downloaded or fill certain form Instead of filling the form in the paper, I can give the application. They have to just input their details and that branch will be opening the account for the person. But the problem which comes is in a business context, there are a lot of process. There will be more than thousands of process just to run a bank. And internally, you have to create UI5 app for all of those. And these process are complicated for example i have given you a simple process here where it can be triggered directly the workflow or this might not be a workflow but can be a process where you have a starting point where a customer a starts the process or the customer can start the process with the application also now once the process starts there are step one and then there are step two where step two requires some data to be collected from a server and also once the step two completes then it updates the database then step three has some more branches which goes to step four and step five step five involves intermediate involvement of other user and then step six gets the data updated to the database and step seven is the last step which basically goes and stops the entire process and also there is certain bit of update which happens to the database to write back all the updates from the entire process it can be a simple process involving opening an account and can look like this when we try to visualize what kind of actions we need to carry out in our application now you can see that a simple process will have multiple screens to be made here we have to make seven screens and there are involvement or writing to the database twice this is one database and this is the second database operation and also some data to be acquired from a third party server 
it might happen that you might have data in a third party data server which are relying there or which has some inputs or which need to be input to the process for example you might have some other codes which are gathered from some government official website and you need to query those to start the process for example some when you are opening a bank account you might need to verify the details the user provides with a third party server and if it matches the proof or id proof the customer your customer has given if it matches then only we start the process so it can also happen that you might have to query third party server services or even you might have your own data stored in some non sap systems as well so the complexity around mapping just one business process is more you cannot have the application made for thousands of business process which exist in your organization so what you do you work with workflow you might be familiar with the use of workflow if you have seen in some blog or maybe in some videos or also you might have seen in your own web id we will be going in details and covering workflow from 360 degree but if you might have seen that workflow works with some kind of diagram you don't have to write a lot of code to build your workflow you have to use or the workflow uses business process modeling notation also referred to as bpmn now bpmn makes the development or the workflow simple for our end user or developer they don't have to write individual codes for each business process they have to get some sort of flow arranged in a layout editor and at the end the time which takes to create the app or map your business process to software is drastically reduced not only that but the amount of error or the error which can come up in between is also drastically reduced how it is done we will see in details in coming few section but the point what i am trying to make here is that with our business process modeling notation which is how workflow is developed we reduce the time it takes to create a software or map our business process to software component and also reduce the error which can occur while mapping it to our software component so these two are the major advantage of using workflow and not only that it can be also done by end user with a basic level of programming or coding experience so that is how workflow takes a center stage or that is why basically workflow takes a center stage when it comes to running your business process and having a platform which can be used to create applications for your business process easily now let's go into the architecture of sap cloud platform workflow and get a bird's eye view before we start into the technical details starting with the workflow in this entire course we will be going into details of workflow and see all its part but before we get started i want to give you a firm background and basics about how the workflow is laid out why and how it will talk to other components which are part of sap cloud platform so our focus is mostly around sap cloud platform and use of workflow inside sap cloud platform so let's get to the next section where we see the architecture of workflow before going into hands on mode 